Hello everyone, so this is just a quick tutorial for using the Hapage recording hardware through OBS. Um, when I initially tried to learn how to do this, it uh, I kept finding videos telling me to load up the Hapage screen capture software and then to screen grab it through OBS, which to be honest didn't work very well. It, um, it adds extra load to your computer it doesn't need and to be honest, the uh, Hapage software crashed like two or three times during a stream, so um, I'm sorry Hapage, your, uh, your hardware is good, but your software is really not so good. So uh, th this uh, tutorial just shows you how to use OBS. So one thing I should mention, uh, I may not be using the same version of OBS that you currently have installed. I'll explain that in a minute though. I am assuming that people watching this are familiar with OBS, so I will skim over some things. But if this video actually gets views, people ask more about it, I will do a beginner's guide to setting it up. But I am no pro myself. So, to start from the very beginning, we are going to go to the OBS website. Right. So now we're on the website, you can see that there are, in the banner, there is two different things to download. This here is your standard OBS uh, that a lot of you, if you've used it before, will be familiar with. So this works great, except it doesn't seem to have any support for uh, any capture software like Hapage or Elgato. This on the other hand, OBS multi-platform, it's like a sort of beta version. They, uh, they've basically rewritten the software from the ground up to try and make it better. Like I said, it's currently being worked on, but uh, it's pretty stable and works great for your typical needs. So this is the one we want to download. So whatever version of your computer you have, uh, go for the software. So here we go, that'll do. Yeah, yeah, I've done. Right. Now I already have it downloaded and installed, so I'm just going to uh, run it from my desktop. Okay, right, we will. Alright, let's completely get rid of this scene so I can start a fresh view. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is uh, it's very reminiscent of the older OBS software. Has some key differences though. So, um, what generally the first thing anyone wants to do is set up their profile. So, if we go to settings, here is where you can set all your general information, your streaming services, your stream keys, uh, you can where your recording paths, all your uh, videos are going to go, uh, bitrate, etc. This is just your typical sort of setup. So you go in here and basically put the same in that you normally would for other OBS. All right. Um, so. The next step really is to make sure that your hardware is uh, running and recording properly. So my Hapage, I have the PVR2 Gaming Edition, so I'm just going to break quickly here and go to a crappy camera uh, footage just to show my setups so you can see that it's passing through my hardware properly and going through to my TV. Okay, so this is just a quick video to show you that my setup's running properly. So, we'll start off with the Wii U. It's turned on and it's operating. The HDMI cable, don't think you can see it very well there, but it's running up the back into my Hapage capture hardware. So, if I can just try and get a better angle of the back, it's the black HDMI cable is uh, the video in from the Wii U. The grey cable is the video out to my TV. So you can see here that it's displaying properly on my TV, so you know that the pass-through is working. I then also have my USB cable plugged into my computer so that I can capture the device on my PC. So we'll now jump back and I'll show you how to uh, how to get it up on OBS. Okay, so we're back. So as you could see in the in that crappy video, I have my software running, I have my games console passing through it fine, you can see it on my TV, it's plugged into my computer, etc. So the next thing you want to do is get it up on this software. So under sources, click add. As you see, there's quite a few good options here. 
we want to go for video capture device give it a name so I will just call mine PBR2 and then you can choose your devices here and if you give it a chance it should there we go pick it up so now I can choose things like resolution uh, if you choose a custom one there as I can't quite remember because I should yeah I don't think it gives you any options but if you want you can type in anything manually uh, so say if you wanted uh, 640 by 480 you can put that in and uh, click about and it should come up but anyway so there's 720 by 480 or you can use default device and it will just regenerate and come up so go down you can choose to capture audio uh, from the device as well you know all, all you know they're just settings go have a look at them go play with them see what the best when you get set up for you is so there we have it it's capturing now something else that this is good for we now have filters for each of the video sources so if you had a webcam coming through as well you would have a completely separate uh, filters option for it so here you can start adding uh, uh, to be honest I, never, I hardly ever play with any of these but you could add a chroma key so oh well that really yeah I'm sure somebody would make use out of this uh, not me though so I'll just quickly remove it so there's just a quick look at some of the options and then you can also add audio and video filters so if for whatever reason you want to delay your video by a certain amount of time you can just type it in here and it'll delay but uh, for this I won't bother putting anything on one thing I will add if you want to add a microphone of some sort um, you can go into here add input capture Da, da, da. choose your device and it will come up here so here you can see I've got the audio coming from my speakers I've got the audio coming from the game which is a bit loud so I'll just reduce that a bit there because we don't really want to listen to a Nintendo's droning software noise oh I've actually got it on twice there for some reason ah well I'll just mute that one for now so on this one you can then go into here filters and you've got s less filters here you've got a noise gate in a game but I'm assuming if like me you are recording your audio through your computer rather than directly through your uh, video capture device software your audio is going to be out of sync to your uh, gameplay so what you do go into mixer and you can very easily change sync offsets of all of your different audio devices you can manually type in volume I don't know why you'd want to down mix it to mono uh, you can set it to record a separate tracks um, oh wait <laughs> that would have been awful okay so you can set things to record a separate tracks um, I think to configure that properly you do it in the settings uh, but you can add an offset to your microphone and then uh, I, I don't know I can't remember what setting I used last time it might have been might have been as big as 500 or 600 but it just depends it's trial and error so um, yeah there we go and that's how you can do it all through one piece of software called OBS the multi version though not the standard version and then you can just start recording or start streaming okay